Hey everybody, I'm CJ from Cooking with CJ on YouTube. I'm so excited to show you guys the Ninja Foodi XL Pro Grill and Griddle, and we're gonna go through it right now. Stick around. Everybody, welcome to my kitchen. This is where we make magic happen. This is where I develop recipes for all my Ninja Foodi grills, all my Ninja Foodi items. And everyone, I'm lucky to show you what we're gonna be doing on this new pro grill and griddle. This is gonna be exciting. First thing we're gonna do are flank steak pinwheels. We have a nice flank steak that we've butterflied open. And then we're gonna add some sweet bell peppers and some asparagus that have been uh, chopped up in that pinwheel, wrap it up, twine it up, cut it in one inch kind of slivers, get it on that grill nice and hot with the top up. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna love it. For things like veggies and fish and like thin cuts of meat, I love this for the hood up cooking. The new and improved Pro Grill and Griddle has independent heating from the bottom on that new Pro Grill grate. You're gonna love it, trust me. It gets you nice, searing, hot, great grill marks, juicy every time. It mimics the outdoor uh, barbecue that I have out there. Everybody, I'm an outdoor barbecue guy for real, and this has changed the game by bringing the outdoors indoors. You're gonna love this recipe that I'm gonna give you right now. Okay, guys, we're gonna put this pinwheel together. We're gonna use a little olive oil, rub it in there. It's already been butterflied. It's ready to go. Add a couple pinches of kosher salt. Get a little cracked black pepper in there and start laying out the veggies. There's no rhyme or reason. Now we're gonna roll it up as tight as possible. And if there's some rips in it, it's okay. Not a problem. We're gonna tie this pretty dang tight. Get some twine underneath there. Okay, we got it evened off, cut off on the sides. We cut off all the excess, got it twined through. I'm gonna add a little bit more kosher salt to the outside, put a little on the cutting board. Same with the cracked black pepper. We'll use the cutting board to get all of it. Then we're gonna cut it in the nice kind of one, two inch pinwheels. So you're looking at that, look at all this gorgeousness in the middle. You're using the twine to hold everything together. Some of it might fall out, it's not a big deal trying to get them as even as possible so they cook as even as possible. So we got a big hog over there, we'll cook separate. We'll get these bad boys on the grill. We got some uh, nice parsley right here. Get that in there. It's a nice green, vibrant dipping sauce. Get that lime cut. Squeeze out the lime. The other one in there, other lime. Add a half a tablespoon or so of minced garlic. We're gonna spice it up a little uh, red chili flake in there. A little pepper in there. A little olive oil, a tablespoon, maybe two. Take a little jalapeno, carve around the outside. Just gonna do a little brunoise on it. Cut the little matchstick, Julian style. Okay. Bunch them all up together. And this is where you get your fine dice from. Get that in there. About a tablespoon or so of uh, minced jalapeno. All right. Just give it a little mixy mix. It just gives us a nice little, little extra spice, freshness, goodness in there. Okay. We're gonna shut this down, turn it on. It's already set on grill. It's got high, 10 minutes is plenty of time. We're gonna go ahead and just hit it so it starts. The preheating's gonna start and then we'll get our nice pinwheels on. All right, everybody, we have this Ninja Foodi grill ready to go. So let's get these pinwheel steaks on. Get them on with a little spatula. What I love about this cooker right here is it mimics cooking outside. We're getting all this heavy duty heat from the bottom up and it's gonna sear these steaks beautifully. 
We don't have to close the lid. All right, gonna do five minutes on each side. Piece of cake, these are gonna be amazing. All right, everybody, we're up five minutes. Telling us to flip. Again, we have these amazing grill marks. Gorgeous. Gonna be perfect every time. Everybody, we're all done. Perfectly cooked through. Got the great sear marks. Beautiful. We're gonna pull these off, let them rest, and we'll plate them up. There are the flank steak pinwheels. Juicy as can be. All right, everybody, that's the dish. Flank steak pinwheels with a little asparagus, some sweet peppers, and a wonderful chimichurri sauce. It's amazing. Make sure you try this one.